Hi folks, my name is Craig and uh, welcome to this beginner's video for percussionists. Um, this is for folks who have never picked up a pair of sticks before, never played a drum before. Um, this is lesson number one. And uh, we'll have a whole series of uh, lessons for you. This is how to hold the drumsticks and how to first make your, your sound on the drum, or in this case, I'm playing on a drum pad. I'm going to start out with just one stick here. And I'm going to hold the stick parallel to the drum or the practice pad, rest it on my pointer finger here, and just let go of this end here. What I'm looking for is a nice bounce. Make sure you don't lift the stick too high or you'll, you'll change the way that the stick bounces. So keep the stick parallel. Looking for a nice bounce. If I go too forward on the stick, watch what happens. The stick doesn't even go down, it goes backwards. If I held the stick there, I would be doing a lot more work. The stick would be doing less work. I want to find that spot where the stick bounces nicely on its own. Watch what happens if I go farther back. The stick plops right into the, the head without much bounce. So again, if I'm holding the stick far back like that, I'm doing a lot more work. The stick's not working for me. I want a good bounce. Right about here, about a third of the way back on most sticks, I think you'll find your sweet spot where you get a nice little bounce. And that's where you want to pinch the stick between your thumb and your pointer finger. We'll call that the fulcrum. And you want to pretend with this fulcrum that someone has driven some kind of pin through your thumb, through the stick, and through your pointer finger, and this is not going to move, although the stick needs to move like this. But you want to keep your thumb and your pointer finger secure. See how my thumb is pointing down the stick, not on top or underneath? And my pointer finger, the stick is resting in that first knuckle right there. And I have sort of a little opening here. I'm not completely clenched. And these three fingers here are just draped gently around. Not too tight and not too loose. Okay. So once you have your sticks in your hand, uh, your left hand should mimic your right. And on these Vic Firth sticks that I'm using here, the flag is actually the best place to grab the stick. Um, every stick's going to be a little bit different. And the sticks that I'm using here are five A's. And most sticks have the letters written right on there. A 5A is a nice medium weight stick, and that's what you want to use to start out with. 5Bs are a little bit thicker. 7As or jazz sticks are quite a bit thinner and although they might feel good because they're really light, you probably don't want to start off with something too light. So a 5A or maybe a 5B would be a good place to start. And if you're not sure, simply go to your local music store, pick up some pairs of sticks and try them out and find something that's in the, in the middle, something medium weight. Okay, so I have my fulcrum set, my fingers wrapped around gently. I want to keep the tips close to the middle of the head or the pad, in this case, close to one another. And I want to make sure that the tip of the stick is going to get a nice bounce back up. We call that the rebound. So go ahead and try that. Try that with your dominant hand first. Every time you hit that drum or the pad, make sure you get a nice rebound, whether you're playing soft or loud. You want to make sure that that stick comes back up. Try this, try going a right, left, right, left, making sure each one comes up 
the same height, starts at the same height, and gets the same sound. As you can see, I'm using a little bit of wrist in my motion, and just a tiny bit of arm. All of that works together to make a good stroke. So remember to find that sweet spot on the stick to get a good bounce. Pinch there and keep that fulcrum solid. Gently wrap these other three fingers around. And always get a rebound. Use a little bit of wrist and a little bit of arm. And you're on your way.